So Ria, I understand you have applied to both NUS and NTU medical schools. What would you say are some of the key differences between both schools? So starting from the application itself, both the schools differ. So for NUS, you, to apply, you just need to submit your school results and your personal statement before you go through the whole interview process. But NT requires that you also take the BMAT. So the BMAT is held sometime in November for Singaporean students. And for overseas, it's also usually held in either, like, some, sometime in the second part of the year. Mm-hmm. And through the BMAT, depending on your scores, if you're able to qualify for the NTU cutoffs, then you're able to apply to NTU as well. And... Aside from the application process, the teaching style in both schools is extremely different. So NTU adopts more of a team-based learning in which basically how it works is that in small groups, you'll be presented with a small problem or a case study depending on the topic that you're doing. And the group will all together brainstorm possible hypotheses and solutions and you'll decide what you need to learn and do a lot of homework on your own in order to solve the problem at hand. And these are usually called your learning objectives. So at the end of each tutorial session, you will have like an idea of today I need to finish learning, say like the gastrointestinal system and something along those lines. And at the end of the session, you will present your findings to your group and the facilitator will compare notes and then fill in any gaps that you might have missed in your own self-studies. So in this way, it's a very self-directed learning. But NUS offers more of an integrated approach in which it has a lot more focus on the traditional teaching style, which means that there's a lot more lectures and a lot more Uh, tutorials in a bigger group setting so in this case it's more of a traditional teaching and they focus less on like a group self-study approach of course both of these have their own merits and it really depends on what kind of student you are and what you what kind of teaching you excel at before you decide whether you want to apply to NUS or NTU or both Mm, interesting so I'm hearing that both schools will offer um the attachments at the hospital, so about smaller doctors will get to learn the hands-on approach. Um, the individual instructional methods are rather different. In NUS, there are, there are lecturers um, delivering um, content in the form of um, you know, lectures, as well as some tutorials. Whereas in NU- NTU, it's more of a, a problem-solving approach where the team gathers together to solve the, the issue at hand and, and meet the various learning objectives. So it's pretty interesting how both schools um, adapt the processes to kind of like create a a conducive learning environment for its students based on what the institution prioritizes as the preferred instructional method. And I think definitely there are merits to both approaches. And ultimately, um, it depends on the individual preferences and how the interests and learning styles align. So that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Exactly. And you did mention about the hospital experience being different for NUS and NTU. And to build up on that point, NTU likes to immerse the students into clinicals starting from year one itself for all five years, whereas NUS chooses to like provide a stronger foundation through mostly theory in the first two years before focusing more on clinicals in year three. Aside from this, NTU also adopts a different learning method in the first few years of school versus NUS. So NES chooses to do like the traditional cadaver dissections in order to learn anatomy. So in which you will go to the anatomy hall and you will see the silent mentors and you will learn by touching the bodies and like learning from the people who have donated their body to science. Whereas NTU chooses to teach anatomy through a very virtual approach. So in this, you will experience a lot of new technology and you will try to learn your anatomy through 3D models in like a virtual reality setting. So ultimately, I would say that both schools definitely are really good in their teaching styles and they have been proven to be to produce very good and capable doctors but which school you will be more comfortable in and where you'll be able to excel more is truly up to like the student's own preferable like studying method 